I'm Shane in Sweden and welcome back to our video series on how to build an intrusion detection system with C Sharp. Okay, so we're going to build an IDS. Uh, we need to look a bit more closely at what an IDS system is. I mean, we've looked at where the IDS sits on the network and how it plays its part in the network defenses. But now we're going to drill down and look a bit more detail about what an actual IDS system is that we're actually going to build. So what is an IDS? What is an intrusion detection system? Well, if we look at the uh, Wikipedia definition, uh, we can see that an intrusion detection system, basically it's a unit, a, a device, a piece of hardware, or a piece of software, a program, for example, that looks at network traffic data, okay, and tries to detect some sort of malicious activity, something that's going on that should not be going on. If it detects something happening, it uh, breaks the rules, as it knows them, then it will actually generate some sort of alert or a report. You've got network-based detection systems. You may have a rule-based system built into a switch or a router, uh, which is actually monitoring live the data that's passing through that router. And if it detects something there, it'll generate an alert to a log file, for example. Or you can have a host-based uh, intrusion detection system. And that could be, for example, a, a Windows uh, service that's running in the background on a web application server machine. So it's looking at the incoming traffic and trying to detect different sorts of intrusions. Uh, a typical example might be a denial of service attack. In this example program we're going to be building, we will be looking at a host-based intrusion detection system, an actual software program that is running on our server. So how does it work? Well, you've got some network traffic here. Um, and we can actually represent our network traffic really as a, a file which contains binary data or text data, it doesn't really matter. We have a sensor. The sensor is actually reading the network traffic data, either live or uh, reading it from a log file afterwards, offline. So you can have online sensors and offline sensors. And it's examining each piece of network traffic data to see if it finds anything that it considers to be malicious activity. When it finds something in the network traffic data that looks suspicious, it'll actually generate a warning or an alert. And this alert will be reported in some way. And this could be anything from just simply writing to a log file or connecting to some sort of network service or something else. In any event, the sensor then reports the alert, reports the suspicious activity. And you may have, uh, in an intrusion detection system, you may have an analysis unit that actually looks at all the reports and tries to filter out false positives because it's a common problem with intrusion detection systems that they report far too many alerts. They report suspicious activity that actually is perfectly okay, perfectly normal. And so you might have an analysis unit which looks at the reports and tries to detect which of those are real suspicious activity. And even further, if you have a intrusion prevention system, an IPS, then as the result of this analysis, you might actually pass on those filtered alerts to a control unit, which will actually undertake some sort of action to prevent the intrusion. For example, blocking uh, an IP address, which is sending the malicious network traffic to our system. Uh, so whenever you have an, a system which actually takes action, that's an intrusion prevention system. But we're actually just going to look at an intrusion detection system and we're going to limit ourselves to sensors that look directly at the uh, network data and uh, some sort of reporting element that reports any alerts which we have detected. Um, but depending on the type of malicious activity we want to capture with our IDS, it may be that later on we actually include uh, a small or a simple version of, of an analysis unit as well. I uh, will have to see. So this is our basic uh, system design, a rough sketch of, of the components. So the next stage is to start setting up our Visual Studio solution. 